Wheelchair Sports has grown vastly since the London 2012 Paralympic Games with over 4,000 disabled people participating in disabled sport. But what does this mean for wheelchair sports and those who play it? Lee Horsley has spina bifida and has been in a wheelchair all his life. He began playing wheelchair basketball in 1997, a time when there was little awareness of wheelchair sports. I was lucky enough that my parents lived down the road from Dan Highcock, who plays for Great Britain. At the time, he was uh, just getting involved in the international side of the sport, and he was good enough to uh, do a lot of work with me training one-to-one, -one. Um, and then I got involved with uh, with his club at the time, uh, which was called the Meteors. Um, I'm still at the same club, although there's been a name change and a few changes in the people who were running the club uh, were now the Vikings. I've enjoyed a lot of things about wheelchair basketball. The, the team aspect of it, uh, the competitiveness, the physical aspect of it. But I have to say, probably the biggest enjoyment for me in wheelchair basketball is being able to play a sport alongside my able-bodied brother. Wheelchair basketball is inclusive this means that disabled and non-disabled people can play together. Obviously football and rugby were out of the question for me. Um, so wheelchair basketball gave us that opportunity to play a team sport together. Disabled since birth, Lee found a sport he could play competitively and enjoy. But what if your life was turned upside down in one moment, which made you disabled? I've been out with friends and it was, it was late, late at night. I've run down this street, I've had both hands in my pockets. Something you teach your kids, never to run with their hands in the pockets. And there's metal bollards all the way down the footpath. I tripped up and hit one of them head first. Mark's accident caused a broken back, neck and spinal cord damage. And your initial thoughts are, uh, oh, I can't move anything. I hope I'm not going to like this forever. Probably five to eight hours later, I started getting a bit of feeling back in my arms and I can move my arms and my hands. Mark was diagnosed with tetraplegia. He received nerve damage in his legs and hands, which causes frequent pain and reduced mobility. So I joined Vikings Basketball Club and started playing competitively. I like it when we travel somewhere and we have a good game, it's hard fought and we do some good baskets and that's what I get from basketball. I, I like mixing with a group and, you know, to keep him fit and enjoying the whole thing. Unlike wheelchair basketball, wheelchair racing only allows disabled people to compete. Nate Williams has cerebral palsy and is ranked fourth in the country for the T34 classification. Growing up as a disabled person, you obviously feel very different in a mainstream school where every, all the lads are out playing football and rugby and uh, in PE lessons, you just sort of cast to the side. But it got better um, as I got into high school and people became more aware of what disabled people can do. Nate left wheelchair basketball for racing in November 2013 after becoming a two-time national champion. The bug for athletics got me when I went to see my friend Hannah Cockroft and I uh, heard she was competing in a gold medal final and I went down to the athletic stadium, used my accreditation to get in. And as soon as you got to the stadium, it was like a wall of noise. I can't, I've, I've heard nothing like it. And I just thought, Wow, you don't get that with basketball, and you don't get that anywhere else. Hannah Cockcroft and David Weir's success at the 2012 Paralympics have inspired Nate to succeed. My ambition really with athletics is to get that red, white and blue shirt, Great Britain across my chest, and say I've competed in a big stadium for my country. There's nothing better, there's nothing more than you can ask than that. You know, a life without challenge is nothing. You know, I like a challenge. And it is going to be tough, but I'm confident that I'm going to be there. Loads of things give you different drive, but pain, pain sometimes drives you forward. It's a good feeling, you know, you embrace it and then you use that 
and I use it in my competitions, you know, being bullied at school, being unemployed graduate for 10 months and then landing the best job in the world. And that gave me an extra drive as well. So all these little factors, they roll in together and a life without challenge is a life without growth. And that's how you grow. You go grow through pain and you grow through challenges.